this video we're going to get the perimeter of a rectangle we'll look at this example one and then do this example two here okay so let's start with example one and again you don't have to write this down but you can if you like it's up to you but we'll get you to write down the answer anyway so the length of a rectangle is four inches less than twice the width the perimeter is 52 inches find the length and width the length of a rectangle is four inches less than twice the width the perimeter is 52 inches find the length and width okay so what I want you to do is draw a rectangle okay we're going to assume like the length is the, the longer side it usually is and the, the width is the shorter side so we're just going to draw a rectangle first of all okay now so this will be width W this will be length L okay and here's the deal if you look at the first sentence the length is four less than twice the width okay so the length is something what is it and let's go over this so that you get the idea four less than something please write this down four I mean give the answer to this four less than ten what's four less than ten okay four less than ten is 10 minus 4, not 4 minus 10, isn't it? Because 4 less than 10 is 6. So you see, 4 minus 10 would be what? Negative 6. 4 less than 10 is not negative 6. 4 less than 10 is positive 6. Not this, okay? So 4 less than something, you take the something, you subtract 4. So what's 4 less than x? 4 less than x? 4 less than x is? take the x and subtract 4 4 less than 10 take the 10 subtract 4 4 less than x take x subtract 4 okay now what's twice the width what's twice the width well tell me what's twice 10 what's twice 10 is it 10 plus 2 or 10 times 2 or what? Twice 10 would be 2 tens, 2 times 10. Twice the width then, how would you write twice the width? Well here's the width, W. Now give me twice W. 2 times W, that's twice the width, right? So now give me 4 less than, and just write down the answer, 4, 4 less than twice the width. four less than twice the width give me twice the width first of all write down twice the width twice the width is 2 W what's four less than this thing 2 W how do you get four less than something subtract four okay so that is four less than twice the width so I hope I've tried to explain that anyway so two W minus 4. That's 4 less than twice the width. Okay. So this is our length, this is our width. The perimeter is 52 inches. Now, go ahead and give me an equation that says that the perimeter is 52 inches. Give me an equation. Go on. What do you get? Just so you know, the common error is okay to say okay this we've got we're gonna add this and this right and we're gonna say 2w minus 4 plus w equals 52 that's wrong do you know why that's wrong 2w plus 4 mi minus 4 and then plus w equals 52 is wrong why is that wrong tell me why you've only included this length and this width but you've forgotten about the rest of the rectangle don't forget about this length and this width okay so there's more to the rectangle because you have 
This width over here is also w, and this length here is also 2w minus 4. Okay? So you have two lengths and two widths. So you've got to add them all up together, right? So you've got to go, I'm going to take this w, uh, I'm going to start, uh, start at the top, okay? I'm going to take 2w minus 4, okay? And I'm going to add w, okay? So I'm going to take 2w minus 4, I'm going to add w. But i got to remember that I have another 2w minus 4. See this length is 2w minus 4. And I also have another width over here. Okay. See that accounts for my four sides. You can put them in parentheses if you want. You don't need parentheses. But you can do that if you want. One side, two side, three sides, four sides. A rectangle is four sides, isn't it? So you gotta add up all four sides to get the whole the, the total perimeter of fifty-two. Okay? So add up all four sides, what do you get? If you add the W's, 2W, 1W, that's 3, and 2 is 5, and 1 is 6. Right, so add up all the W's, then up, add up all the numbers, and what do you get? So 2 and 1 is 3, and 2 is 5, and 1 is 6, W. Then we have a negative 4 minus 4, what's that? Minus 8 equals... 52. Okay? So 6w minus 8 equals 52. And then we add, solve that equation. So we can add 8 to both sides. What does that give you? 6w equals 60. Right? Then divide both sides by 6. Right, divide both sides by 6 and W equals 10. Okay? Are we done? Is that the answer? No. That's the width. The width equals 10. This width is 10. This width is also 10, of course. They're both 10, right? But we haven't got the length yet, right? So the length has to be got. The length is 2W minus 4. So that's 2 times w minus 4. So 2 times the width would be 2 times 10 minus 4, which is 20 minus 4, which is 16. Okay. So the length is 16. So we have length equals 16, right? Length equals 16 inches. Okay, length is 16, width is 10. This length also is 16, of course, right? If you add up all the lengths and widths, do you get the perimeter of 52? Okay, so we check that. So if you take this width 10 and add this length 16, then take this other width 10 and add this other length 16. Do you get 52? Okay, so I'm getting 26 plus 26, and that is 52, right? So it works out. The length is 16, the width is 10. The length is 16, the width is 10. All right. Perimeter of a rectangle. Example 2. The length of a rectangle is 5 meters more than 3 times the width. The perimeter is 58. Find the length and width. The length of a rectangle is 5 meters more than 3 times the width. The perimeter is 58. Find the length and width. Once again, draw a rectangle. Sorry, this is a little bit long. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Draw the rectangle. The length is 5 meters more than 3 times the width. The perimeter is 58. So we have a length and we have a width. Okay? What do we do with this sentence? The first sentence. The length 
is 5 meters more than 3 times the width. Let's try to understand that. What's 5 more than 10? 5 more than 10. That would be 15, right? So you would take 10 and you would add 5. That's 5 more than 10. Give me 5 more than x. Write down the answer. 5 more than x. What's 5 more than x? Take x and add 5, right? Now, give me 3 times the width. What's 3 times the width? Write down the answer. 3 times the width. three times the width, take the width, how would you get three times the width? Multiply it by three, right? That's three times the width. Now give me five more than three times the width. Write it down. Five more than three times the width. Five more than three times the width. Give me three times the width, write down three times the width. Three W, right? What's 5 more than that? What's 5 more than 3W? It's 3W plus 5. 3W plus 5. So the length is 5 more than 3 times the width. The length is, take 3 times the width, add 5. Okay? The perimeter is 58. So give me an equation now. The perimeter is 58. Give me an equation to find uh, with that in it. Can you do it? What equation do we need? L length is 3w plus 5, right? Okay, so once again, the common mistake that students make is they say, I'll just take this length and then I'll just take this link, I'll ignore the rest of the rectangle and I'll say that 3w plus 5 plus w equals 58. Why is that wrong? Tell me why that's wrong. It's wrong because you're only taking half of the rectangle. You're just taking this length and this. We need to take the whole thing. Got to remember that there's a length here of 3w plus 5 and there's a width over here. W, right? So you gotta take this length and this width also. So we need to take the W plus 5 and we need to add this W here. We need to take this 3W plus 5 and we also need to add this W over here. And that accounts for all four sides of the rectangle. And when you add up all four sides of the rectangle, you get the total perimeter, which is 58. You can put these in parentheses if you want. There's one side, there's another side. That's two sides. Three sides, four sides. See, every rectangle has four sides. So you're adding up four sides, not two. Four sides, right? So add like terms and solve the equation. Press pause and solve the equation. What do you get? Hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm doing it now. So 3w plus 1w is 4w, plus 3w is 7w, plus another one is 8. Is that what you got? 8w, right? 1 and 1 is 2, 3 and 3 is 6, 6 and 2 is 8. We should have 8w. What about our numbers? 5 plus 5 is 10, so 8w plus 10 equals 58. Now what? Subtract 10, and we have 8w equals 48, right? Divide both sides by 8, and what do you get? W equals 6, right? Meters. This time we were talking about meters. So W equals 6 meters. Now, 
Are we done? Is that the answer? No, because it said find the length and width. Both. You've got to find the length and the width. So if W equals 6 meters, which it does, that's good. What's the length? The length is 3W plus 5. So figure that out. So that's 3 times W5, right? The width is 6. 3 times 6 plus 5. What does that give you? 18 plus 5, which is 23 meters, right? So length equals 23 meters. The width is 6. Can we check that? Check your answer. Always check your answer, especially if you're taking a test. This will be on the test, and you definitely need to check your answer on the test. Okay? So the length. This length is also 23, and this width, of course, is also 6, right? So we go 6, 23, sorry, 23, 6, 23. Does that make sense? 6, 23, 6, 23. So if you add up all these sides, what do you get? Six plus twenty three plus six plus twenty three. What does that give you? Well, six and six is twelve, twenty three and twenty three is forty six, and that all makes fifty eight, right? So it all checked out. Also, we know that three, the length is indeed three. Uh, five more than three times the width because if I go three sixes you see I get 18 and five more than that is 23 so it all works out right